Hi everybody, it's Allie and welcome to Strategically Helpful. In today's organizing solution, I'm sharing how I implemented a organizing strategy in my closet shelving, specifically for my PAX wardrobes from Ikea. So I decided to dedicate one entire PAX wardrobe to all of my pants. It's the medium of all the widths. So it's approximately 30 inches wide. This one is the 15 inch depth. And then I think it's like 92 or 96 inches tall. And then I got these mirror cabinet doors to create kind of a, a closed cabinet aesthetic. So within this PAX wardrobe, at the bottom there, I have my laundry basket for my darks and my lights. And then above the laundry baskets are five shelves specifically dedicated to my various different types of pants. So I'm a big fan of Marie Kondo and I binged all of her episodes of that show that came out at the beginning of the pandemic. And her system is actually based on this uh, 5S methodology that was created by the Toyota manufacturing company in like the early 60s. And it's basically a Japanese system for organizing business processes and workspace to increase productivity so that work can be performed more efficiently and effectively. And that's exactly the objective that I have, especially in the morning when I'm getting ready in the closet. I wanna to try to make my process as efficient and effective as possible and re reduce the amount of friction I have. I followed Marie Kondo's system of folding up the clothes in little bundles and it worked out really great. But the problem I realized is that some of my pants, be it the joggers or some of the pants, just don't have the structural integrity to keep the rigidity and kind of that little bundle. And when I would remove one pair of pants, the rest of the bundles would kind of falter, they'd fall to the side, and the whole setup would kind of go a little wonky and get a little disheveled and not have that nice, clean appearance that makes things super functional. So conveniently, I actually had about seven or eight bookends on hand from an old organizing project. So decided to use those bookends as kind of creating a little bit of rigidity and a little bit of structure in between those little pant bundles. And as time went on, I just kept on adding more and more of these bookends to the point where I decided I wanted to have dedicated parking spots for my pants. One pitfall with the Marie Kondo folding method is that it got really hard for me to identify which pair of jeans was the one that I was looking for. And the reason being is with respect to like my jeans, I have a few jeans that are boot cut, I have a few jeans that are a slim cut, I have a few jeans that are skinny cut or skinny leg, and then I have some that are long enough to wear with boots and some that are a better height to be worn with flats or flip flops. And so as I became more kind of experienced and lived in my new closet, I just continued adding more and more of these bookends to create more and more structure within each of the shelves and the different types of pants. And then one day I just decided to basically make like designated parking spots for my pants with the intention of having a few reserve spots, for lack of a better term, for the very specific pairs of jeans. Some of the spots in the shelf of all the jeans are specifically dedicated to one and only style of jean. And what it has done is it has helped because I can open up my cabinet and immediately upon inspection, I can see is that pair of pants that I'm thinking I wanna wear is it clean, is it in here, or do I have to go in search of it, maybe it's in the laundry. So the 5S system created these boards where they outline the shape of the tool or the cleaning product or whatever it is, so that everyone is on the same page about this is where this item lives, and if you see that outline and the, the item is not in front of that outline, you know that item is out somewhere floating around. And so I'm applying that same principle to my pant shelving, in order to make my morning routine a little bit more efficient. So I recognize this organizing system is very extra, but hence why I named this series the Overly Organized Series. And to be honest, by the time I get to the end of this month, I suspect that you will probably feel like Overly Organized does not sufficiently or adequately describe the level of my obsession and passion with organizing. But what can I say? It brings me a lot of comfort and satisfaction to be able to organize my things in an efficient manner. And it also helps me 
when I am dealing with time management, when I am juggling a lot of things, on occasion I may be running late. And so these little steps that I take benefit me in the long run and that's why I enjoy doing them. The thing that I can tell you about these bookends is that they're phenomenal. I found that they were a better price point than those Lucite clear like dividers that you could add. They're the perfect height for my shelving and, and also the fact that I don't have to permanently alter my shelving. So I've basically connected these bookends to kind of um, nest on top of each other. Fortunately, the double stick tape that I used is not really doing the trick. So I'm kind of ruminating in my head whether I'm gonna try either like zip ties or maybe Velcro ties to keep them together or as a last ditch effort, I'll use something like liquid nails. But I usually try to avoid making a permanent alteration like that. But overall, it's working great for me. So I hope that by sharing these creative organizing solutions that work for me, maybe you'll get some inspiration and some ideas to address some organizing dilemmas that you're dealing with. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here, thank you for clicking on my thumbnail. I really appreciate you being here and this whole experience has been really enjoyable and pleasant. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future content. It really helps me out, especially being a brand new YouTuber and a very small channel. With that, I hope I see you in my next video and until then, have a good one.